Hello everybody, I am back. <laughs> I have not filmed in a very long time. Um, by the time you see, see this, I you will have already seen like at least one video. Um, so yeah, but as I'm filming this right now, it is Wednesday the 29th of May. And um, I'm halfway through a half term at the moment, so I'm not working this week. Um, and uh, at the moment I haven't put a video up for a week and a half, um, which feels very, very weird. Um, but basically, it's the middle of the day now, it's actually just gone 3pm. I have been in town shopping with my cousin Charlotte, and um, as soon as I got in, <laughs> I took my bra off and put a PJ top on, because it's comfier. Um, sorry about the lighting, I'm like leaning over now. <clears throat> Oh, I'm still a bit sniff sniffly, um, but basically I hadn't put a video up um, because I got poorly, um, I got self-diagnosed laryngitis um, and um, basically I literally thought it was just a cold but I like ended up losing my voice and stuff like that and so um, yeah it was quite bad so I took a few days off work I was dying in bed and um, it was my friend's wedding at the weekend as well. My best friend Emma, she got married at the weekend, uh, which was absolutely lovely. It was such a good day. Um, and so basically I was just busy either being ill or um, doing bridesmaid stuff. Um, yeah, and now it's halfway through half term. I was thinking of filming like a week long vlog. Uh, however, I have just been really busy. <laughs> So, uh, I'm starting it on Wednesday and I will probably go to the end of the week. So, yay! <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I need to do a bit of a hoover. I do actually have a lot of tidying to do. Look at my room. All these clothes are just piled on the bed. There's just piles everywhere. I had a bit of a panic before my friend's wedding um, because um, the dress, it was a a uh, floor length dress but it wasn't like dragging on the floor so normally like they kind of like drag on the floor then when you wear heels it's like still like kind of touching the floor however mine when I had no shoes on was just touching the floor so when I wore heels it looked ridiculous um so I had like a panic buy I like did next day delivery on ASOS and Simply B of like um shoes in all these different sizes and I found a pair of like just Plain flat dolly shoes. Um, they're here actually. Oh, these. I wore these for the wedding. Um, this is my dress. It's inside out. <laughs> this is the colour of my dress. And yeah, I felt like it went quite well because it was like nudie colours. Um, yeah. And on the inside of my dress where my boobs are, there's like a nude bit. I don't know if you can see there. So I feel like it matched really well. Oh my gosh. This dress smells amazing. It smells like the perfume I wore. Morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. I didn't film anything for the rest of the day yesterday. Um, I like filmed and then um, Adam came home like pretty much straight away. Um, and he was working. And then I always feel awkward like when I'm at home like whether I'm vlogging or just like pottering around the flat like when he's working because he makes phone calls and stuff and so I always have to be like really quiet um around the flat um so I didn't film anything and then I pretty meant I pretty much went out straight away again um to meet with my friend Kelly we went for a little costa which is very nice and then I came home and watched Stranger Things with Adam so he's never seen uh, Stranger Things at all um, and we watched the trailer of season three and he was like, you know what, I think I might li like it um, but I want to watch the first two seasons and that was last week and last night we finished the second season so we have binge watched the first two seasons of Stranger Things um, and he loved it so that's good. Uh, yeah. So we did that. At the moment, I'm just making myself coffee and I have got some toast here. I bought this toast from Sainsbury's that's, um, it was from the free from section and it's um, wheat free, gluten free and milk free. So I don't know what the frick it's made of. 
um, but I'm going to put some peanut butter on it and I've just bought this new peanut butter called Pip and Nut and this is the crunchy maple peanut butter it looks like this but um, it separates and so you have to like stir it all together um, I haven't tried this before I tried one other like almond butter or like some kind of like um, dairy free peanut butter and I absolutely hated it um, so we'll see what I think of this one I can't remember what the other one was called though I'm going to stick my finger in another little bit <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, lovely. That's delicious. Mmm. They had some other flavours. Like, they had, I think they had chocolate orange peanut butter, which I'm not sure if I would actually like or not. Mm, I don't know. I'm just sat on the floor in my lounge. I've brought my coffee over because it's too hot to drink at the moment, so I'm just leaving it there. Hopefully I can drink it while I'm sorting this stuff out. Um, but I've got... All my returns to sort through and then um, I'm watching Willow Biggs's uh, Primark haul at the moment uh, that is what I'm doing at the moment yay <laughs> I just want to show you um, a pair of pajamas that I'm returning um, I think I said I ordered like loads of pajamas last minute um, to try and find like a decent pair to wear for getting ready for my friend's wedding and I ordered some of these from Simply B and they are lovely um, but I didn't go with them, I ended up going for some black like button up ones um, because I didn't want to like be like the centre of attention but these are lovely, they are called the Paradise Pyjamas um, and I, I think they're from Fig Leaves um, rather than like actually simply be um, but they like have this like, oriental vibe, they're so cool so they're like baggy wide leg trousers and then the top Maybe I'll try it on the side. And the top, you put it on and then you like tie it up here and then you can tie it up here. Let's just pretend. Do a really quick one. Oh. I have no idea what that noise is. But um, yeah, I think this is a really cool pyjama top. And then you can obviously like just roll the sleeves up because they were a bit long on me. Um, but yeah, I thought this looked really, really cool with the trousers as well. But not needed and these this set of pajamas was 44 pounds um so i feel like it's not worth keeping them so i'm returning them i just got to my bedroom to get ready to put everything away um and i just realized that on sunday night there was a new episode of towie and on monday there was a new episode of main chelsea and i didn't watch them because i've been so busy so i'm gonna put the only way is essex on now um, while I'm tidying all my clothes away, which I'm very excited about. Those two shows are my absolute like guilty pleasure shows. Like, almost the ones that you're kind of embarrassed to admit that you like watching them, but I feel like, because I've watched them from the beginning, it's almost like, sentimental, I don't know. Or like, I feel like I just know the characters, so... You watch it for nostalgia. Um, still watching Tally. I'm feeling like I'm on a roll right now. I'm in the bathroom and I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes. This is, these are my two pots. These are like my base and like everything brushes and these are my eye brushes. Um, I've got these two different makeup brush cleaners. I think I've only so far used the Real Techniques one. I don't think I've used this one. Um, we got this in a birch box like maybe last year, maybe even two years ago um, and like you can put your fingers in and then rub the brush on there but I also bought this from Real Techniques you can slide your whole hand under which I quite like and I do really want to buy, I think Real Techniques have one that like sticks to the bottom of the sink so then you don't have to use your other hand and you can just like swirl um, so I want to look into that and potentially buy that but I haven't I'm gonna be honest, I haven't washed my makeup brushes in a really long time. Um, so this is much needed. I mean, this is my foundation brush. It's like, um, a, it's the Body Shop Buffer Brush and it's just minging. So don't judge. <laughs>
here on the side we have all my makeup brushes. Um, I'm thinking <clears throat> that uh, when they've dried, maybe to like go over the handles and stuff with um, a baby wipe or something and see if that kind of makes them like a bit cleaner. Um, but yeah, they're all my brushes and I rinsed out my holders. Um, and then the sink has now got makeup all over it, although you can't really see it that much. Um, so I'm going to give that little wipe over. Yay. Hello. It is uh, Friday. Oh, there's a bit of fluff there. There we go. Um, it's Friday afternoon. Um, I have been a bit busy, I suppose. I don't really know. Um, last night we went. We ended up going to Mum's for dinner and came home. And I can't remember what Adam and I were even talking about. Um, and I ended up like having a really late bath and um, had to get up a bit early today. Um, to have Maisie. I had my sister Maisie for the, like a couple of hours in the morning. Took her to a birthday party, um, came home, Adam was still here, he's now gone and I've just filmed a video. I filmed my like review of um, products I've got in my beauty boxes. I'm wearing an Ursula top, you can't see it though, <laughs> um, which I love. I wore this in Disney and I actually got it from Boohoo and I normally don't like Boohoo. Um, so that's a good little find that I found. Um, I feel like I should have more light on my face. Does that work? I don't know. Um, but Adam has gone uh, to stay around a friend's house today. I mean, he's obviously, he's working this afternoon, but I'm not going to see him until Sunday. He's going to stay in a friend's house and he supports um, Liverpool Football Club and uh, they've got some kind of uh, football game final um, in Madrid this weekend and so Adam's going to Madrid um, and he's going to come back on Sunday so I just hope that he is safe because it worries me like football like supporters and stuff I've just taken some pictures oh, of um, Ursula on my top is like putting lipstick on so I took I was just like taking normal pictures of myself in the top and then I thought wouldn't it be funny if I was mimicking what Ashley was doing in in my top, and but I've taken loads. I've literally taken like this many. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through them and post one of them on Instagram. I think that's like a bit fun. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me. Um, I found out today that the guy. Um, oh, I haven't got to hate my nails. I've just caught sight of them. Ah, oh, um. You know the Inbetweeners? Uh, the guy who plays Neil from the Inbetweeners is going to be in Waitress the Musical. Which I think is, like, really cool. Um, he's going to be playing Ogie, um, who is a guy who sings, like, this really annoying song that's like, I love you means you're never, ever, ever getting rid of me. Um, Adam Reed doesn't like that song. <laughs> um, but he's becoming, he's joining after I've seen it, um, which is a bit of a shame. But there's also, like, um, there seems to be a lot of like cast changes um so we're seeing it on the 15th of june and um that seems to be a good few cast members final performance and then um the new people seem to be starting on the monday um so a bit sad that i'm not seeing neil from the in between us however like i really don't mind because i'm really excited to see catherine mcphee as jenna and Laura Baldwin as um, Dawn. Like, they're the people who I know as Jenna and Dawn. So I want to see them as Jenna and Dawn. Sometimes I still see her. My mother, the dreamer. She'd say nothing's impossible, child. So pure, so pure, so electric, so sure, so sure, so connected. It's a bit later on now. Um, I've done a bit of an online shop. Um, 
awarded from ASOS and Boots. Um, my number seven mirror, you know those mirrors that um, have like a light around them? Um, it actually stopped working today. <laughs> I think it was today yeah it was and so I've ordered a new one even though there are quite a few reviews that say that the new one isn't very good um I'm just gonna see what it's like when I get it I'm having a browse on cult beauty and I wanted to show you these because I thought they were so cool oh excuse my bra <laughs> um I love like scents and rediffusers and candles and wax melts and stuff like that and i've seen these i mean they're 99 pounds but look how cool they are they're by um, a brand called anya smells and they look like pencil pots and this one's in the scent lollipop and the reeds look like pencils i think that's so cool so that's lollipop and then we have chewing gum and then there's also pencil shavings which smells like cedarwood and patchouli and I just thought they looked really cool. Um, they're 180 mil, so I think that's quite big, but still 99 pounds is a lot. Um, and I'm just gonna, gonna have a little browse. Also, I found the reed diffusers like 10, 15 minutes ago, but um, there were people like stood outside my flat and they were having a chat. And my windows are like open a bit. Um, and I just felt real awkward, so I waited for them to leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I'm surprised I've still kept this lip stuff on, because I really don't like the feel of it. <laughs> um, and I've kind of bitten at it as well. Um, hey, I am making my dinner at the moment. I'm making some mushroom orzo. Um, I bought a couple of like vegan cookbooks. Um, if you don't know, I'm kind of experimenting with eating more plant-based food and I haven't bought meat or much dairy, because I like milk chocolate, um, from the supermarket in a very long time. Um, so yeah, I bought a couple of vegan cookbooks. I bought Lucy Watson's. Um, I bought both of hers actually, because I thought they were going to be really good. She was on Made in Chelsea. Um, sorry. So, yeah, she was on Maiden Chelsea, um, and that's how I know who she is. Um, but I have to say, I bought her cookbooks, and they're very much like... You can tell she's from Chelsea. Like, she, it's the expectation that you're going to have, like, access to, like, all these different ingredients that you, they don't sell in the local Sainsbury's, like... Um, egg white replacement and there's like some weird stuff that like I've never heard of and um, yeah like it's not it's not very easy I don't think I'd have to research where to find ingredients um, but I did buy this <laughs> this is Miguel Barkley and he um, makes the one pound meal books um, I actually got I think his first one um, giving us a present when I moved out <laughs> and this is he made a vegan cookbook a vegan one pound meals and literally all the ingredients are stuff that you would find like in your cupboard like easy stuff to find in a supermarket he said he wanted it to be really simple like fewer ingredients and stuff like that so the other day I made like a char grilled pepper orzo and I really liked it and now I bought some mushrooms and they're gonna go out of date so I thought I'd use them. And I'm making this mushroom also here. There you go, sorry, paused it. Um, I've just got some YouTube on at the moment on the TV. Um, I think I might have shown you some earlier. I don't know. Um, I've been basically been watching TV all night. Uh, it's 20 past 11 now. And I have just cut my hair um, shorter than I've done it um, before, I think. I think when I first did it, it was a bit longer than this. Um, but yeah, I wanted it to be shorter. Um... 
And what normally happens is once I've like washed it and styled it again, I find bits I have to recut. And then like a few days after the original cut, I then feel like I've got it done properly. Um, whereas I know if I went to a hairdresser, it'd be done properly like straight away. Um, but because I've just done it, um, I've got hair like on my top and on my skin and stuff. So I've had the hot water on for a bath. Um, I'm going to finish watching this YouTube, YouTube video, um, I'm watching Emma Latham by the way, um, she is the lady who I did a swap box with, I'll leave the video down below, it was so good, um, we did like, um, based around having like a little pamper evening by yourself or something, we did a swap box, um, I loved doing that, um, and I'm watching her video now, she is unboxing the, uh, QVC Tilly box, which has been out for a little while I think, um, I don't know when the new one's coming in. I don't know. Good morning, well actually afternoon. <laughs> um, things were a bit hectic. Last night um, I had like a kind of like a late bath um, and when I got out and I went to go find my face moisturiser I noticed a big spider crawling across the floor. Oh, So I had to wait because it, it ran underneath my unit and then I had to wait for it to like come back out and I kept like jiggling the unit to try and scare it so it would like crawl back out. So I stood there for ages waiting for this spider and it came out and I've put a glass over it and like left it overnight. And so today I do need to get rid of the spider but um, that was really scary. <laughs> I ended up having a really late night. I originally wanted to get up at like 8am and get ready and go to Asda and Home Bargains, look at all the washing. Dear idea. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go to like Asda and Home Bargains, kind of like as soon as they opened. Um, but I didn't end up going to, to bed till like gone two o'clock. So I set my alarm for nine and then I snoozed it for ages and I've just got ready really slowly and just had some lunch and decided actually it doesn't matter. Like my aim is, was to like get there early because then there'll be less people around and I don't like being around lots of people because I feel like um, they'll like look at me in, in like a negative way and like think bad things about me. Um, I, I get like anxious about that, that sort of stuff. Um, but I've told myself it's okay. And then also like parking as well. If when it's quieter, you can park better. <laughs> um, so yeah but i've decided it's gonna be fine i'll just go in the afternoon and i will we'll embrace it but i need to find a better outfit i've just met my mum outside and i had to quickly chuck this on because i was still in my pajamas um and it's actually quite hot outside but she dropped this off for me and um, this big boots box so i ordered this mirror last night or well, yesterday oh. oh so i actually i bought this um big face mirror for like when you go and like stay around someone's house or something you know when you sometimes i like, do your makeup in the morning and there's no mirror except like in the bathroom or something and i only have like quite small mirrors um and can't see like my whole face but i bought this from boots for like eight pounds i think and it's a huge mirror there you are <laughs> um so yeah I think that's a very good purchase. I feel like I'm going to get a good amount of use up from that. And then from when my mirror broke, I bought the replacement. However, reviews of this aren't the best. This is the newer one with like um, a twisty thing on the bottom. And apparently you can set, like you can dim your lights a little bit or set them to be brighter. Um, and also the swivel head apparently moves in like lots of different directions. Um, quite a few people have been moaning about this. Um... And some people love it um and i feel like i don't need anything like special this was 19.99 and i'm just gonna see i'm gonna try it out um and if i really don't like it then i'm just gonna buy a different one but um yeah fingers crossed my main goal for home bargains is to buy the new as a flora scents they've got so they've got pink grapefruit which mm, i'm not sure I, i'd probably use that in the bathroom They've got Paradise Punch, have they? Have I made that up? They've got like a peat, maybe it's Paradise Peach, maybe that's it. They've got a peachy one and I'm really excited about that. And then they had another one, another summer one, something like Hibiscus and 
like it was like types of flowers I think and I thought oh that sounds nice as well so hopefully home bargains will have some um we will see but people tend to like raid the floras don't they and in asda i wanted to go to asda even though it's a bit of a drive for me it's not even a bit of a drive it's by home bargains to be fair um just because i want to have a look at like, their clothes and stuff and i feel like asda has more variety as a supermarket and um, whereas my local sainsbury's has a couple of like clothes but no changing room and not that much and also i get quite bored with supermarkets i like to travel to different ones um Cause I'm a weirdo. <laughs> um, I really need the toilet, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. <sighs> I literally just got in, I took my bra off and my other top, and just chucked this on just so I can breathe a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff I bought. I ended up going to Home Bargains, then Hobbycraft, and then Asda. Um, I won't show you what I got from Hobbycraft because I think I'm gonna might maybe do like a scrapbook haul or something like that. When I was getting out of the car in my car park, um, I had like so many bags and a box because I picked up my ASOS parcel from my mum. Um, and I could hear some shouting and there was like people having a huge domestic. Um, there was like, I don't even know, so, like, this man and woman shouting at each other and the woman's friend was like so, there as well and then there was another man and then like someone went upstairs to their flat to go and get their baby and then shouted out the window that you have woken up the baby and they were like, then they brought the baby down outside and then they were all just shouting at each other, the baby was crying, it was so dramatic. Luckily they're not people who live in my block of flats, <laughs> um, the people who live in like another block of flats is like next to us kind of. I just bought a couple of bits of Asda because literally I had a basket and one bag and I was struggling to carry everything because I ended up buying some bedding. <laughs> um, I bought a pizza which obviously isn't veggie or ve isn't vegan, it's got cheese on it, um, but I want it. Um, my Father's Day card for my dad. It says Happy Father's Day and it's like an iPhone and there's apps like Dad's Joke Directory or Bank of Dad, uh, Dad Dance and stuff like that and then um, inside it says it doesn't take a smartphone to tell you you're a smart dad. <laughs> I thought that was quite cool so I got him that. got these which are vegetarian scampi bites from Linda McCartney to try, we will see. Bought a pot of salad some of my favourite ice lolly things, the watermelon and the strawberry ones. The watermelon ones are my favourite. They were two for three pounds, which is good. I'm gonna chuck them in the freezer now so they don't melt. I got some, and we're now on home bargains. Some tissues, because uh, everyone needs tissues. I always buy them as just a backup to just put around the house. Um, oh, I did get this from Asda. Um, this is a big rediffuser. It's a Raspberry or Royale. I thought that looked quite nice. And because it's big, I'm hoping it will produce lots of scent and I'm gonna have it in my lounge. I bought a toilet rim block thing. This is in mountain pine, lovely. Oh, a big tub of unstoppables cause we're gonna run out fairly soon. This is freaking awesome. Drumstick squashies, bubble gum. I bought this one because it says shower and bath and I don't really like the idea of having a bubblegum scented bath, but I like the idea of having a bubblegum scented shower gel, so I'm going to use this as shower gel, but it smells divine. Um, this looks like a proper cat slater item. This is some surf liquid detergent, and um, it smells really nice. It's a limited edition one called Wild Thing. Um, unexpected floral notes. Whenever I buy actual liquid detergent, I have to tell Adam which one is liquid detergent because um, one time he accidentally put, what did he do? He put this in and then no fabric conditioner or, or he put this in the fabric conditioner drawer, something, he got it a bit wrong. What's going on? I bought some fat free vinaigrette from Hellman's, never tried it before. Um, an insert for my spray, automatic scent sprayer. This is Summer Delights smells really nice 
I bought some inserts for my plug-in air fresheners. These smell amazing. So we've got the Unstoppables one in fresh, which smells nice and fresh. And then Spring Awakening, which smells awesome as well. I try, when I buy these, I try to think about what I'd like my home to actually smell like. Because there was one that was like fruit berry and stuff, but I don't really want people to walk in and only smell fruit berry. I want them to smell like really fresh, like clean scents. So um, yeah, I got that got two of the new as the floras they didn't have paradise peach or punch or peachy peachy peach whatever it is which is such a shame but they had loads of these two um honeysuckle and jasmine which is really floral at first i was like oh but then actually really like it um and then pink grapefruit which i haven't sniffed but we all know what pink grapefruit smells like so i'm excited to have them and obviously they were only in the big size so they were like 1.99 a mini reed diffuser for the bathroom uh, in red cherry blossom. Um, um, a replacement toothbrush. I normally get Colgate ones, um, but I got this one which is Wisdom and it's um, five cleaning benefits plus whitening. So I bought it because I'd like to have white teeth. Ding ding. Um, I love these crisps. These are gluten free and vegan. We have sun dried tomato and basil hummus chips hummus 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 and then creamy dill lentil chips i thought when i bought these before i thought they'd be quite plain and i wasn't sure i'd like them i ended up absolutely loving them like they're my favorite ones so yay i found these which look really cool refreshers chews they're like they look like starburst but with like a sherbetty bit in the middle oh my gosh they look amazing and they come in a lemon strawberry apple pineapple and raspberry mm -mm -mm bought Adam some squares because he loves squares. Last but not least, I ended up buying a jumpsuit from Asda, but I won't show you that because I think I'm going to um, maybe do like a summer clothing haul or just show it in, in the haul that I'm gonna do soon, I don't know. Um, I also got a present for my cousin Charlie that I can't show you, um, but I got myself and Adam a new duvet set, which I think looks beautiful. It's like a whitey, it's a cream background with like gray and pale pinky flowers on i think it's lovely um our bed has like a gray base and a gray headboard and i feel like that will match lovely and i couldn't tell whether to go for sheets and pillowcases in this color or in gray so i did actually ask a woman who was down the aisle, same aisle as me and i said if you had this bed bed sheet which one would you pick and she picked the lighter one and then i thought actually yeah because a dark gray would kind of make it all look quite dark whereas this kind of brightens it up a bit so i got that now that I've cut my hair shorter, when it's in a ponytail, loads of it falls out of the bottom at the back, so I've just put like a hair clip in. Um, I'm actually going to take my makeup off and go to bed. Oh, sorry about the blue light. I'm watching 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. Um, and a lot of that set and stuff is blue, so I look a bit blue. I'm feeling um, very relieved about Adam. Um, I was so worried when he left. I can't remember if I said, but um, he is in Madrid at the moment. Um, I don't know if I've said, but Adam's dad passed away in February and him and his dad used to go to lots of Liverpool football games together. And when they're in another final, like they flew out to Athens together to watch the game. Um, and one of his dad's friends best friends surprised Adam today um and ended up being in Madrid and didn't tell him because he wanted it to be a surprise so I feel so like relieved that he's got someone else there with him and I feel like it they're safe they're safer in a pair <laughs> um so yeah that's good and also Liverpool won <clears throat> so he's gonna be very very happy <laughs> um yeah so that's very very good um, but I'm really tired, it's 20 past 12, um, and I want to get up early tomorrow because I don't want to have a late one, because I want to then have an early night to then be up early on Monday, because um, I'm back to work on Monday. So, I'm going to take my makeup off and go to bed. Morning everybody, it's Sunday morning. Um, it's lovely weather, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying having, like, the curtains open and the windows open, um, yeah, it's nice. I am in my, oh, oh, sorry, my voice, I'm in my Marie nighty. oh, she's gone in between my boobs, 
Um, Adam actually bought me this like randomly because um, he saw it and he was like, yeah, you'll have it because you love Marie. Um, and yeah, I never wear like 90s, but I like it, so I'm wearing it. Um, at the moment, I'm watching a bit of YouTube. Sundays, I feel like, are one of the... They're the best day for YouTube videos. Like, so many people put videos up on a Sunday. Um, and, um, yeah, they're like the most... They're like the most consistent video upload day. So I'm watching Louise Pentland at the moment. Um, and I'm just... I've got, like, two notebooks here. I've got my everyday notebook, because I need to, like, sort out my money for the month and do my budgeting and stuff. And then I've got my YouTube notebook because I want to kind of sort out like what I'm doing haul wise. Am I going to do just one like random haul? Am I going to split it up and like wait till I buy more clothes and do like a summer clothing haul? And then should I do like a scrapbook haul? I don't know. So I'm going to write down everything that I've bought recently and see what I think. Um, and I've just got my coffee here. Um, Adam is going to be home in a few hours. Um, I also want to get ready and film a haul video, um, if I can. Also just like plan my videos um, for the next like month. And then I'm going to put around the flat, I'm going to like do like a sweep of it and kind of tidy up. Um, oh I need to put hot water on because I need to do some washing up. Um, and just put her around really. So I've got about two hours, that's not actually that long is it? <laughs> What I'll say one hour to pot around and do the washing up and stuff like that and put a wash on and then the other hour to get ready and film and then hopefully it will all be done by the time Adam's back and then he'll think that I've lived in a really tidy flat and I'm so good at tidying even though I'm really messy. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is a lot later now, it's quarter to eleven Um, Adam is home um, we had some dinner and um, we ended up watching the Britain's Got Talent final even though like I haven't watched the programme at all, I don't really watch it anymore um, but we watched the final and I fell in love with this man called Colin who um, I think he used to be in the army and he's 89 years old, his wife Joan had passed away and he like stood on like a red carpet of poppies and sang a song and it was so nice and I just fell in love with him I cried like like proper like ugly cry uh the whole way through his performance um I just loved him um and he won which is so good I like became obsessed I like downloaded the Britain's Got Talent app and I voted for him and I've never been a voter I've just kind of you know just watched and see what happened but like I just really wanted him to win and he did so I'm really happy about that um, I've just put some leftover dinner in the fridge to maybe eat for my lunch tomorrow. Um, I've just run myself a bath so I'm going to go in now. Adam is very very tired because of course he didn't sleep. Um, he still hasn't slept, he didn't even have a nap or anything whereas I would have had a nap <laughs> because I am lazy. <laughs> um, so yeah he's in bed now and I'm going to take makeup off and wash my hair get in the bath and then go to bed um that is my plan so i am actually going to end this vlog now <clears throat> um i hope that you enjoyed it if you got this far thank you um yeah i hope you enjoyed it i also i have the weekend to myself next weekend because adam's on a stack do and i was is, i'm contemplating vlogging it but i don't have anything planned like i don't need to go to home bargains to buy anything so I think I'll spend most of the weekend just like scrapbooking and I don't know whether that's boring or not but I'll make a decision at the weekend um yeah let me know actually if you'd like me to vlog it um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching um my vlogs like get like the least amount of views ever but I really like um filming them like it's just so comfortable so yeah right I love them so I'm going to continue making them uh thank you for watching um and I will see you in a few days in my next video lots of love bye